Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and More. Today we have a topic from epidemiology, that is uh, the difference between epidemic, endemic and pandemic. It is a commonly used terminologies to describe the pattern of disease or the quantity of disease or the distribution of disease. So it is commonly used by the epidemiologists and medical people. So not all infectious disease uh, terms are created equal though often they are mistakenly used interchangeably so the difference between epidemic pandemic or endemic is regularly blurred even by medical experts this is because the definition of each term is fluid and changes as the disease becomes more or less prevalent over time so knowing the difference is important to help you to uh, understand the public health problems or the public health news better and uh, to have an appropriate public health response first we directly starts with the definitions that is epidemic is a disease that affects a large number of people within a community that is within a community that is increase number excess number okay community or population or a region that is excess number okay that is epidemic Whereas a pandemic is an epidemic that spreads over multiple countries or continents. That is epidemic spreads in countries or continent. So the very common example is the COVID-19 this is Corona so this COVID-19 was first reported in Wuhan China that time it was an epidemic when it was in Wuhan China right COVID-19 was just an epidemic that is the increased number of cases in one particular region that is China Wuhan but when it starts spreading to most of the countries like all of the countries it became pandemic that is pan epidemic is pandemic that is epidemic spreads to countries and continents so hope you understood the difference between epidemic and pandemic so epidemic is nothing but actively spreading so actively spreading new cases of the disease substantially exceeds what is expected another example i can give you the cholera epidemic or the food poison epidemic so food poison was not expected but suddenly a lots of cases after a food poison incident from a hotel or a street food uh, joint so that becomes epidemic a sudden increase over a very short period of time has become epidemic so when it goes to all the places that is all of the, our globe many countries and many continents it become pandemic so that is a very relatable example is the covid 19 was epidemic once when it was reported in china now it is a pandemic so what is endemic Endemic is nothing but a disease which belongs to a particular people or country. That is endemic. That is a constant presence of a disease in a particular region. Suppose malaria is endemic in many parts of Africa. That is presence of malaria in Africa. So it is neither we can say it is purely epidemic we cannot say it is pandemic sometimes it will become epidemic because rapidly increasing 
cases will become an endemic to epidemic so constant presence of a particular disease or a prolonged period of time in a particular region or a particular group of people that is known as endemic disease fluorosis is an endemic disease because it is commonly seen in few states such as rajasthan and in kerala also it is commonly reported in palakkad and alappi so it is commonly seen disease for a very long a period of time that is the presence of a disease for a such a long a period becomes endemic so endemic can become epidemic when the presence of this disease increasing in a very rapid phase that has become epidemic so epidemic can become pandemic when it spreads to many countries so that is the difference between epidemic endemic and pandemic they are very interchangeable but this is a concept epidemic is a very active increase in the number endemic is a constant presence of a disease in a particular area or region pandemic is the spreading epidemic that is a worldwide presence of a particular disease or a particular epidemic so hope you understood the small concept of epidemic endemic and pandemic so i'll come up with another topic in the industry more thank you